Hi guys, I'm Miriam Francois and I'm in Paris just by this statue of Joan of Arc. She's the woman who liberated the country from the English during the Hundred Years' War. And the reason that we're here is because this is where National Front supporters gather on May the 1st to commemorate this heroine. And the reason they do that is because the founder of the National Front, Jean-Marie Le Pen, has appropriated her as a symbol of his party. He even compares his daughter, Marine, to her. And here's the thing, she's currently in the runoff for the French presidency. So how did this trained lawyer transform a party known for its violence and racism into France's second most popular party? Firstly, she totally rebranded its image. Take a look at this latest campaign poster. There's no mention of the National Front or even her surname, which is the most obvious link to her father's heritage. And that iconic flame thing with its roots in Italian fascist imagery, she got rid of that and she replaced it with a blue rose, which she describes as her more feminine image. But the changes aren't only cosmetic. She has also redefined some of the party's policies to give it a softer image. So traditionally, far-right parties kind of hate ethnic minorities, immigrants, Jews, Muslims, gays, you get the picture. But Marine Le Pen actually has ethnic minority candidates, her spokesman is openly gay, and well, her leadership of the party kind of speaks for itself. Meanwhile, she's developed a welfare program that rivals that of traditionally left-wing parties. But one thing definitely hasn't changed, and that's the demonization of one group interchangeably known as immigrants, Arabs, and most frequently these days, Muslims. There are around 4 million Muslims in France, and Marine Le Pen claims that their religion is incompatible with the values of the Republic. Nor have nationalist slogans like keeping France for the French, or references to national sovereignty being abandoned, not least in her references to leave the EU. Her father was known as the Devil of the Republic, but in just six years at the helm, she's taken the National Front from the fringes of society to the second biggest party in France. 